I wanted to make this video for quite some time now and I wanted you to see exactly what I'm using because not all the time everyone gets to actually see that. So this has a tiny uh, emulator for the simulator type situation <laughs> and I added the quick release the QR1 by Fnatic and this little uh, adapter and then I added this slim quick release which I got on AliExpress for only nine bucks it's been amazing now they got other ones that look identically the same and they're like about 200 bucks you don't need that this works just fine over there you're paying for the name this is tech for rec where we show you how to get a bang for your buck. So we buy some expensive stuff and then some non-expensive stuff. And from time to time, we buy both to do the comparison. Or with my money, this is not a sponsored video. So I left it this way. Hopefully you can see better. It's like a little darker, but hopefully it's like dark, but clear if you get what I'm saying. I don't know. But with that being said, I fixed the coloration within the gameplay, or I tried to. Let's see how it comes out. Because sometimes you don't want it too bright. You don't want it too dark. But dark is not always a bad thing. And I'll show you my settings that gave me a smooth gameplay. Right? Everybody's always saying, shut this off, shut all the settings off to get better performance. But are you really getting better performance and quality, visual quality? For your video or your streams because people tune off when they don't see good quality or am i bugging out but with that being said if you want to get some of these things so you can add an actual uh real steering wheel to your sim rig i'll leave the links in the description where you could get some of this stuff and some of the stuff that's here on this rig real brief one of the things that has been amazing has been this tray this tray has a clip on and you able just to put it right under your sim rig if you want to and continue to uh, drift sim or whatever. I don't have paddles, so I uh, hotkeyed it to my keyboard. You can actually do that. So when I press pop, it switches to the next gear if that car doesn't have shifting gears. You get it? So this is a cheap phone that I had around there. Never throw your phones away because they could be used for exactly that or to use as a Elgato mobile device, just like this. I switched right over to the Elgato. It's, those are not filled in. As you can tell, the one that's blinking is the one that's recording right now. And then I can hit pause and pause the video. I just added those three for stream. I have another set, uh, and it looks a little better, and you can see them more. Look, I'll show you. And there's the full Elgato deck with 15 buttons so you could switch scenes or whatever and i have them i have it connected to both of my pcs my main pc and my streaming pc this is set to my main pc so i'm not touching none of that right and then when i switch over it switches over to my streaming pc which is how i'm recording this gameplay into that now so it's amazing and you pay only five bucks or six bucks a month for it and you don't have to bring your whole stream deck over here and you don't even need a stream deck if i'm not mistaken you could just pay for that and you got a mobile deck so i mean it's up to you but let's get to it but you gotta switch over disconnect oh my god Gotta be careful with that. Let's do it. So now normally 
I pro I usually have the color over here like a red, like under the, is a floodlight under there and it's in blue right now. I don't know why, but I don't want to switch it right now. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so let's check this out. How did the coloration come out? We're trying to see if the coloration came right with my settings or does it look bad? Either way, it's going like that. <laughs> Bing. And I'll show you my settings once I'm done. In case you want to get the same settings, it'll be great for you. Right? Pay attention. Uh, so this is how it went down. Right here. So what I did was I went in a server and I wanted to show you how the car, like my my gameplay, is actually in someone else's server with multiple cars. So I didn't see no lag. Hopefully you seen a smooth play. It wasn't about the drifting. It was about is it going to lag? Is the coloration going to look really, really bad? How is it going to behave while it's in a server you know it's a lot of people at the same time playing 
so it's heavy on the system if you buy yourself you're gonna be smooth it's simple you're alone right you could do it at 30 something fps probably still look decent but with multiple players like this, I think there was like 16 or 13 or something like that in there. Uh, for me to be driving and have no lag, that lag is from him right now, coming from his end. But if we switch over to someone else, they won't be uh, lagging as, as bad as him. Because they probably know exactly what they're doing and how they set their things up. So it's all about how you set these things up and what you're trying to do. That's me pulling him back in, in and out. You could do that when you hit the, the camera. And I think that's like second camera and you could just pull him in and out with your mouse. And that looks amazing. I was I pulled myself in and out while I was drifting a few times. You could switch him around where you see the front of him. So there's a lot of things you could do to make your, your video look amazing. But one of the things is this right here, the settings. And these are the settings that I use for my coloration right now. So it's going from my main monitor to the streaming Elgato HD60X. But on my streaming PC, I have them off the coloration right now. It just has the regular Windows uh, color, right? So it's sending it from this card over. So they both the same off by like one number down here. It was like extremely hard to get it <laughs> to uh, one zero zero. So I just left it alone. I was there forever. But when it comes to settings, overall settings, these are the settings that I'm using right here. So off off 8x on off uh application controlled i don't know why that's on application control oh yeah i left it on application control but you could turn it off that's not gonna really do much and then i turned on this uh super sample uh transparency i turned times two all default of course and then the dsr factors i'm streaming in 1440p so i have it on here and i also have a graphics card in my streaming pc right so i turn it on over there too here i got it like on 50 something the sharpener today but i normally have them both at 33 percent. but one thing that made a super smooth gameplay i think was latency mode i put it on ultra on both graphics cards you don't need two graphics cards to do pc stream but i do because i had multiples uh but either way you can use these settings and it's gonna be amazing i leave the uh monitor technology i leave it at fixed uh refresh rate because this my main monitor is not g-sync compatible but all the rest are so i turn it on over there if you get what i'm saying and that's the rest of the settings right there. I don't know if you can see that or zoom it in. And even if I make it smaller, maybe you can see it a little better. I don't know. Or did it get worse? <laughs> but anyway, overall, uh, that's what worked for me. And uh, right here where it says texture, I leave it at high quality. The main settings will probably would be for people like preferred refresh rate is highest available and power management mode, preferred maximum performance, and then put this rendering GPU, put it to your graphics card. And then the rest of the settings, I told you what I use, 8X, and then I use the same on my streaming PC. You get it? But sometimes on the streaming PC, I put these settings and I shut them off here because there's no need. You get it? They both doing the same thing. So it like doubles the impact, I feel. So I tried all different ways and I've tried everything for hours, years on end. So I can tell people what actually works. 
So hopefully this one came out all right. Let's check it out. The link's in the description. Even to this monitor, there's only 200 bucks on sale on Amazon. And it's a 32-inch uh, monitor that I've been using for a while. And I don't think it looks too bad at all. There's light on it now, so you're probably not going to be able to see it that great, the coloration. But I'll probably shut the light off. And I have this camera set to a different lighting. But, oh, it don't look that bad right now. So check it out. Because the camera will make it look weird. So that's the monitor. And it's on sale right now. For $200, you can't beat that. You buy three of those with $600, you got a triple awesome sim rig setup. Which is exactly what I'm probably going to do soon. Uh, I've, even though I have three other monitors, all the same. But they're not 32 inch. I think they 27, uh, but they also amazing. But I'll leave the links to that monitor also in the description of this video if I recall. But with that being said, enjoy yourself. Have an awesome time. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this of me just feeling like making a gaming video. <laughs> links in the description to my main platforms where you can find me at and talk to me on the one-on-one -on -one basis if you want to proceed with your journey of content creation i help all good people god is watching uh